Hello and welcome to the April 6th Hemp Show powered by CanTrade. My name is Mark Ristelli. I'm the CEO of CanTrade and the host of the Hemp Show. Next up on the Hemp Show, we have Sammy Nostralahi and Babak Babin, the founders of One Hydro and Cannabix. Sammy has over 38 years of sales and marketing uh, leadership while owning and operating several businesses. As a former professional soccer player with 28 years as a soccer coach, his concern for the health of his players led him to sell a line of health beverages that he felt his team needed. Sammy has held many local and regional leadership positions and is heavily involved in the Greenwood, South Carolina community, previously serving as president of Uptown Greenwood Development Community. Dr. Babin is, a, is the Associate Dean of Research at Dental College of Georgia and Augusta University. Dr. Babin has a PhD in medical bacteriology, a postdoctoral fellowship in molecular immunology, and MBA from Augusta State University. He served as an assistant research scientist in the University of Arizona's Vascular Biology Center and the Immunology Therapy Center in the Georgia Cancer Center. Dr. Babin has been the principal investor in co-investor in 21 grants exceeding $20 million in funding since 2010. He has published more than 100 peer-reviewed articles presented at dozens of national and international research conferences and has served on several international study sections and editorial review boards. Dr. Babin is considered one of the leading in international researchers in scientific and oral molecular medicine, genetics, and cancer research. Man, that is, that's a lot of awesome titles. Thank you guys so much for being here. And I want to find out everything going on with, with uh, Hydro One and Cannabix. And I guess, and I've also got this to, that I've been waiting to open the entire time. So Thank welcome you. guys. Hi Mark, great seeing you again. Yes, yes, great, great seeing you as well. So I'm, I'm about to crack one of these open and then I've also got one, I've also got one for Sarah, but, but let's talk about, you know, how, how you two got into this space and how ultimately you two got linked up. And then obviously with, uh, with Dr. Babin, you have a, you know, a plethora of knowledge on the space, everything cannabis related. And then Sammy, you told me about a, a study that I also want to want to chat about later on, but let's start from the top as far as what got you into the space and then what, what brought you guys to, you know, creating a beverage. As I mentioned earlier, you know, Dr. Boban and I met many, many years ago and our first, we've been in the beverage industry for the last 14 years. So our original company uh, is called Hydro One Premium Beverages. And this Medicinal Cannabis of America is a sister company for us. So it's still under the umbrella. And obviously we do have a partner. We signed a partnership with Hemp Synergistic. Uh, they're very knowledgeable when it comes to CBD products. So I met with Dr. Bobon and Dr. Field many, many years ago. And uh, as you mentioned, as a former player, I was very concerned about um, providing or coming ideas, they're coming up with the ideas to design a product, especially for athletes. Because again, I was doing all this uh, sports event. So we thought about it, but then my team decided that diabetes is huge. So our flagship products was you know, obviously Rave D, we designed it, and we are the only one that have a US patent on it. So then we realized that CBD in a probiotic, uh, obviously with Dr. Bobon being his uh, background, we thought this is a great idea to jump on this. And I will let Dr. Bobon elaborate a little bit more about why you know, we tackle this line, which is not easy one to talk about. <laughs> right, right. Thank you for being here, Dr. Baban. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. Thank you for the time. Thank you. And hi to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So, so ultimately, you know, what, what really, what really goes into the product? And then like, uh, like I mentioned with Sammy, what, what brought you guys together to, to start this? Sure. So uh, it was 2014 when a, um, a friend from a Canadian company really approached me. I am an immunologist. I am a um, basically, inflammation and uh, inflammatory diseases is the heart of my 
uh, work. So in 2014, I was approached by a company to test uh, uh, a compound from uh, phytocannabinoids, really. And, and cannabis is not new, really. We just uh, understand the mechanism. We have started the uh, understanding of the mechanism really right now. It has been uh, used, been in use for over four or 5,000 years ago. Uh, but uh, as an immunology, it was uh, interesting to me. It has my uh, curiosity to see uh, the anti-inflammatory, potential anti-inflammatory if it works or not. So we started to uh, work on it uh, on a melanoma model, which was a so I'm coming from a research background, really. So I, I started with that, and uh, we had to go through the certification by DEA, FDA. Anyway, we got that, and when I saw the, it was striking. The effect on our mouse model of melanoma was striking. I didn't believe it really. I was very skeptical. So I told my student to repeat it again. We repeated it with uh, uh, two residents. It was the same. It, it had a huge, uh, um, you know, beneficial effect. So uh, we've been working on it since 2014, and our latest one was, it has been on the uh, ARDS acute uh, based on this uh, unfortunate pandemic. Uh, we have also tried it on a model like that. That aside from that, when I saw that effect in really actual uh, scientific world, then based on my uh, uh, experience and uh, work with Sami, I suggested if we can uh, basically come up with a product for the public use, which is um, the, this is a CBD, the, the cannabis, which is the CBD uh, infused uh, uh, water beverage. However, what makes it different, we have added the very appropriate amount of the uh, probiotic to it, you know, uh, uh, microbiome uh, plays a big role in human health, and we have two major microbiome uh, community in our body, the oral cavity and the digestive system. So it helps when it comes to a syner synergistic relationship between CBD and also the probiotic. Uh, not only it helps the dynamic of the molecule itself, it helps basically to uh, work with the, you know, the endocannabis system is the important part here. Although the CBD doesn't affect the endocannabis system directly, but through uh, the probiotic, it can affect our endocannabis system indirectly, very effectively. So that's how the cannabis really was born. It is... Uh, uh, a patent pending product. It has a, it is a mixture basically of the CBD uh, plus probiotic, which helps a lot with the uh, vascular system, it helps, uh, you know, all beneficial mm -hmm. potential of the CBD plus a uh, probiotic effect in it. So, right. Yeah. So, so, you know, obviously there, there's a, there's a giant movement in the world as far as probiotics and it's become a thing over the past, I'd say what, 10 years when I feel like the first time I ever heard of probiotics was when I got one of those probiotic yogurts, um, the Activia is back in the day. Uh, now, when you're combining the CBD with the probiotics, is that also, and I think you might've mentioned it um, slightly you know, right there, but I just want to elaborate and confirm that I, you know, what, what you said, but it, does it help with the delivery mechanism of the CBD? So does it help to deliver CBD into uh, the, into say the CB1 or CB2 receptors that help with that process? It, no, it, it, it affects the effectivity of the CBD in the body. Okay. Because, because one of the functions of the CBD in our body, the main receptor really for CBD is still not known, but the trip V1 is one of the main one. It is a, um, uh, basically the um, calcium channel. So uh, when it mixes with the uh, function of the probiotic, because you know, nine out of 10 of our body cells are non-human. So probiotic plays a big role in the uh, homostatic and the balance, especially mm -hmm. immune balance in our body. And that's the main function really of the CBD. 
And that's why the when it comes with the when it basically <laughs> work in conjunction with the uh, probiotic, uh, the effectivity of the CBD and that uh, target of the anti-inflammation works better. And then exactly what you mentioned, it indirectly affects the function of the CB2, which is uh, mainly expressed on the inflammatory cells. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so obviously, <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not an expert here at all when it comes to this, and this is this stuff is way over my head, but um, would this be more closely related to like how the entourage effect is described as far as when someone smokes, you know, obviously this isn't smoking, but when someone smokes, CBD or THC, and then the terpenes that are also associated with that, um, with that flower help to kind of adjust the effect that that product is going to have or that flower is going to have? Yeah, so this is a CBD infused with less than 0.3%, although it is full spectrum CBD, but exactly what you mentioned, the entourage effect is important. Uh, however, remember, that is uh, one of the dilemma which we have with the, in the CBD industry, really, that uh, how we separate that uh, psychoactive uh, function from the non-psychoactive part of it. So this is mainly the uh, CBD, which, uh, uh, yes, it has the entourage effect. Mark, anything in, in the nature, when it is in the natural form, really, it works better. And, and I think that's the mystery mm -hmm. of the that they are like that. So less uh, manipulation on the product, yes, it's better. But on the other side, we are using these for the specific purpose, really, to uh, basically regulate and to manipulate the inflammatory uh, effect in our body, which relates to so many other anxiety, sleep, uh, uh, memory, uh, cognitive function. So we have to be careful when... Uh, I think the whole thing is what percentage. It is like every other thing. In, if you go back 3,000 years to the Greek medicine, they call about healing and balance. Everything in balance, it brings healing, basically. So right. we have to know exactly what amount of that product has to be there to work with the probi uh, microbiome system in our body to deliver that effect, what we want. And cannabis is, uh, has been successful in uh, fulfilling that purpose really and still while working on the next generation of this yes okay very cool now now that we're talking about healing you mentioned something earlier um and you mentioned cancer and mice now i read a headline and then read the article i didn't read the study um and it was something this was several years ago something like uh cbd kills cancer in mice was that was that the study that you were involved with or well, is that something else that I read? No, not to that one, but what our study was published in Journal of Surgical Research, uh, it is about a mouse melanoma model, which uh, we compared it with the standard uh, uh, chemotherapy treatment of the cisplatin. And uh, CBD had a, a beneficial effect. It was not effective as much as the chemotherapy drug. However, the life quality was better for our animal. Okay. So uh, we are working on the mixing it really with the um, chemo to, to see how it works. But our study on cancer was on the melanoma and we are working on head and neck cancer. Too. Yes. But okay. our recent one is on Alzheimer's, which has been very uh, interesting. Wow, are are you able to are you able to speak on that one at all, or is that not been is that not? No, been no published it is published. Yet? It is uh, published in Journal of Alzheimer's Disease. Uh, we showed that uh, two weeks treatment every other day of with the CBD in mice with a um, Alzheimer model early onset of Alzheimer significantly improved the cognitive function uh, as well as it reduced the inflammatory, uh, you know reaction in the body, which helped the mice a lot. Yes. And then we are going for human trial. Interesting. I, um, I, I recently, like this is two days ago, just had this conversation with, uh, with a friend of the family who's, whose parents are seeming to decline, you know, in their cognitive abilities. And I brought up CBD, THC, that it could be an option. Then obviously there's, there's other things going on with things like, uh, with things like the psychedelics with psilocybin and stuff like that. Obviously that's, that's too much for them. 
Uh, but CBD is not too big of a leap. However, they're not, they're not people that are, um, you know, preppy to using cannabis or hemp goods. Uh, but I'm going to turn them on to what you just mentioned. I'm going to go find, I'm going to go find that study. I'm going to get it from Sammy and I'm going to make sure that they, they read that now, um, before we, before we wrap up, sorry, I've been, um, haven't directed any questions towards you, Sammy. Now, Sammy, can you, can you, um, speak about how the, let's say, you know, these products and how it's working with the sports teams that you work with? With your with your background and and the effect, if you're seeing a, a positive one, a positive response, um, you know obviously it's it's pretty, let's say, uh, well described that that CBD is has an anti-inflammatory property, and that's extremely important when when playing sports. Well, to be honest with you, I was so excited when Dr. Bobon brought that up, and as you know, I'm, I'm just turned 67, I'm still playing. So I trust me. If it wasn't because one of these and one of our sports drink with uh, with our CoQ10 and the ribos in it, there's no way I could even change clothes to get out there in the field. So what we were so excited because the process that we used, you know, obviously um, for uh, our CBD mixed with probiotic helped with Dr. Bob mentioned help with pain, inflammation, guts. I mean, sleep apnea, ADD. It's got so many benefits. So it's very important, especially for athletes like you and I, or former athletes, I should say, you know, when you play the sport, you're gonna have pain later on in life and you're still very young. So I was very excited because the process that we use uh, for RCBD uh, and the process that we use to combine the uh, probiotic into it, there's a lot of benefits. It's not just the infused CBD water. And when you add, and you know, again, since we are the only one, as Dr. Bobo mentioned, these products are patent pending. It's a US patent pending. So it helps tremendously to realize how much benefit is in actually mixing the a CBD with probiotic. Excellent, yeah. yeah so we we're very excited because I heard your other guest, uh, Maureen was talking, and even my, my town, we're in a small town in Greenwood, South Carolina. We call them Bible Belt, you know, Less than, a, or less than a year and a half ago, we only had one place you could buy CBD. Within one year, even through during the pandemic, we have 33 stores are selling CBD in a little southern town. <laughs> See, you were just, uh, you were just, had, those were the stores that were advertising it. <laughs> they, True. They're, believe me, there were some other places that you could be buying CBD, but not, not necessarily saying you wanted to buy it from them. <laughs> Oh, that's true. What I'm just saying is we're in a Bible Belt. You could not right. talk about CBD. And that's what she mentioned earlier about laws and regulation and the obstacle we have. So because people are still scared. That's why I made a professional player to taste our products for a while. I had the coaches doing it. So there are a lot of uh, benefits right now when you hear these players say, well, I've tried it for you know a few weeks. It feels good. I have no problem with losing my scholarship or not playing pro. And, and you know, Mark, the uh, NFL is actually uh, reviewing a few, uh, you know, uh, potential really to see how they want to invest in research on the CBD for the player. I saw the article. I, I am very excited that they are going in that direction because uh, soon and later this has to come, uh, you know, to realization. I know FDA has certain concern about it, but remember, FDA has approved this CBD in form of Epidiolex for the epilepsy, uh, for pediatric epilepsy. And uh, um, that's approved for uh, since 2010, actually. But for the other application, we still have problem. But for athletes, for sure, because of the uh, nature of the CBD and the mechanism it works in the body, it helps. It helps definitely if, if it is uh, formulated rightly, if it is used rightly, like every other thing, if you use it right, it will definitely help a lot. Right. Well, so, so now that you mentioned that, that was going to be my, that was going to be my last question here. Um, and, you know, this, this could definitely go on for a while. And it was going to be, you know, how CBD and how that could possibly affect things like, um, you know, the CTE that they're finding in, in athletes. And given, and this is actually a personal question with myself, because it's something I worry about. I, my career ended right when CTE became a thing, as in like, it started to become mainstream and it was known about, I had never heard about it. So I played my entire sports career 
where a concussion was just a concussion and there was really no major long-term issues. And I played in total, including, you know, Pop Warner or something like 20 plus years. And in that time, I had zero concussions, as in diagnosed concussions, but been knocked out, been had headaches, been knocked out playing in pro games, knocked back to high school, think I'm playing in a high school game, you know, can't remember entire chunks of my career, all of which are concussions. So it's definitely something that that I'm, I personally think about all the time is like, is my brain going to start to deteriorate over time? I and mean, I, I don't know what the next 20 years looks like for me. So if there's something that I can be doing, and obviously, you know, having having a product that has something that's going to have some sort of uh, neurological benefit, then I need to start doing that now because I got to start the protection. I don't know what type of damage I've done in the past. Um, so sorry, it's more of just a, a bunch of comments and kind of oh. a, not really a question there. Um, but yes, I guess there is a question. So, so, you know, is that, is that something that's coming forward as far as studying the CTE? And that's what the, the NFL is looking for. Actually, forward? you raise a very important thing. We have mentioned in our, that paper on the Alzheimer's really kind of. So brain is a very uh, interesting uh, issue because uh, brain does not uh, need with any, in any mean the inflammation. So that's why, for example, concussion, stroke, uh, and uh, you know uh, any inflammatory function uh, will whatever destroy that blood brain barrier basically will um, you know will damage the cognitive function and also the uh, brain function in general so cbd has two major benefit what we have seen in our research in for the uh, brain one is improving improving the uh, cleaning the clearance of the uh, amyloid beta uh, plaques, which helps from the young ages, because our body produces amyloid beta per day, but those little cells called microglia in the body, they eat them up, so uh, they clean it up, and that's how we function. And when um, uh, the, the position of those goes up, that is what ends up to the Alzheimer and dementia, basically. So CBD, for sure, improves that plaque accumulation and plaque clear. That's one thing. And then in terms of concussions and uh, the perfusion, basically, because during concussion, the blood for uh, the blood flow basically get affected. And then suddenly it again reperfused and pumped into the brain very hard. And that's how it damages it. It damages the brain. It creates a stroke. And uh, the, that, that's all the consequences. CBD has a very unique uh, capability. We don't know yet how. We know some hypothetical thing which we are following it, but it has a very unique capability to downregulate these, you know, invasion of the inflammatory cells and or depriving of the brain from the blood flow. So both two extreme form of it, this is down, this is regulated. Basically, CPD is an immune regulator. Uh, compound. It is not immune suppressive. It doesn't suppress your immune system. It regulates your immune system. It brings it back to the balance, basically. How? That's the $1 million question. Now it is $20 million question, but uh, we know it does. It does under most conditions. And, and your point is very valid, absolutely. And that's a big field in our uh, research uh, horizon, basically. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm very optimistic that, that you know, there ultimately when I look at it, I, I could see sports, contact sports like football um, deteriorating over time. I mean, people not sure. wanting to play because the, the lifelong injuries. But when you add in two things, when you add in, uh, you know, some wonder chemicals like CBD that, that can help to protect the body and, and fight the in, and inflammatory, help to protect the brain. But then you also add in the technology um, changes that are being made and then the rule changes. So it just, it makes me optimistic about it, right? Absolutely. Then, and, and, and you raise a very good point that uh, CBD is not by itself, at least at the current form and now with what we know really, is not the solution by itself really. However, it is an important play in bringing the solution to the many, many of the diseases. You know, in medicine, uh, pain, and uh, uh, reaction are two major problems for medicine. So CBD controls both of them. 
That's very interesting. You cannot find so many, even in the pharmaceutical industry, drugs artificially can do that. CBD has those capability if it is used correctly and if it is used in the right format. Yeah. Right. And, and you made, you made a great point there that CBD is, you know, not, it's not going to be the solution for everything, right? It's going to be one, it's going to be one, um, you know, element that helps to fight these battles similar. And that's basically similar to everything, right? Most people, a lot of people in the U S just want a pill to fix their issue. And that's the problem, you know? Yeah. So it's going to be, it's going to be a host of different things that help to combat those problems, whether it's the, you know, fighting what's causing the symptoms specifically, or not just treating the symptom, you know? So, uh, protecting yourself beforehand, all those things. Uh, now, we've we've gone long over our time. However, the benefit of going last is that there is nobody, there is nobody <laughs> behind us. Um, I thought, what I, what I want to say is, you know, I think I've got. I mean, I, I could go on for quite a long time, and I, I I'd love to have you guys on our deep dive conversation. On on that one, there's there's no rules, there's no format. Ultimately, we just we just chat about interesting things. And, you know, I'm a, I'm a dummy chatting with chatting with some experts over here that I, I would just love to, to pick your brain on one of those conversations sometime. Mark, I was just going to emphasize, you know, with our CBD, because we use a full spectrum CBD and the process obviously we're using is nano emulsified. So I was just going to mention that if you notice that you and I were both drinking it, we want to make sure that our audience or people that they're using our products. This is not a beverage that you open and just drink it right away. No. I mean, before we jumped off, I was going to ask that exact, I was going to have you explain you that are. exact question because I'm drinking it how it's supposed to be drinking. And I only know that because you told me, you know, right. you told me that previously. Uh, but yeah, sorry. Sorry yeah, to cut no, you off. Keep going. I just want to make sure to get the best benefit, you got to slowly drink this thing. So you, you open one of them. It doesn't matter if it takes you an hour, an hour and a half to finish it. That will give you a better result because you want to allow it to get into your blood stream and your system so you can get the full benefit. So those people that are struggling like you and I with a lot of injuries, a lot of you know surgeries and all that, we recommend about two a day. So, and obviously that helps you tremendously as Dr. Baba mentioned, it has so many benefits, close to 100 different benefits, including pain, guts, inflammation, sleep apnea, ADD. I mean, the, we can go on and on. So I'm so glad that they finally came up with the product and we're looking forward you know, to introduce it. Ever since people come to my office and they taste the products, believe it or not, they leave the office with a case or at least with a mixed case. Again, I remember this is not a miracle drink really, but we have to know that it's a healthy drink. It is a full natural, it has CBD in it and it has probiotic, very simple. But the ratio of it is very, it's about 30 milligram correct CBD full spectrum, and then with less than 0.3% of THC, and uh, a very about uh, 40 billion uh, absolutely uh, uh, probiotic. Uh, so um, it, it is very beneficial. It is uh, um, well designed, and uh, I, I, I believe the taste is also good tasty. So um it is a helpful beverage it is uh, yeah definitely uh, and, and, and we are very proud of it and uh, we are working I mean, on different forms yes i i think people are gonna go crazy over it i mean it it <laughs> tastes good and with all the benefits i i mean it's super cool now i do have a question for for you guys um the would this would you would y'all be open to the to thc in view infused versions of this in the states that are legal because i I feel like there'll be some cannabis companies in different states that would love to have, you know, the, the form of this and ultimately have this, for example, out here in California. And, and would that possibly be beneficial, um, you know, with the entourage effects, having the CBD and the THC combined, you know, with the full spectrum that you mentioned? So THC is different. THC is uh, basically... Uh, not only in terms of uh, social and legal issues, also uh, scientifically and based on its mechanism, uh, it's not easy to deal with it in a form of a general form for the public use because uh, the receptor for the THC, as you know, it's very universal in the body. It's almost um, 
it, it can, uh, you know, uh, attach to so many receptors in the body, but the brain cells are the, the main ones, really, which are a problem. So, uh, yes, THC is interesting one for pain control, for pain management. However, uh, I think it has to start with a very, very uh, regulated uh, medicinal form, a clinical form. It mm -hmm, cannot sure. be like this one because this is relatively safe the CBD with no uh, really known serious side effect. Yes, you have certain side effects, but in heavy doses, uh, it's not really something which is not reversible. But THC is a bit different because of its uh, mechanism of function. Uh, so uh, it has to be with the uh, uh, clinical involvement uh, at this moment. At okay. Least. Yeah, makes, that makes total sense. Uh, absolutely. But Yes, if there is a good uh, setting of the pharmaceutical uh, industry partner with the uh, clinical setting and good uh, clinical trial, absolutely, the CBD, I mean, the THC, if we can infuse the right amount for the patient, we have to start with the patient. And then it has to go with very uh, strict regulation uh, because the for two reasons. One is for the function of the THC and it is psychoactive. Secondly, every individual has different response to the psychoactive uh, compound. So that's another complexity which brings it to THC. So uh, the answer is yes and no. Yes, it is very interesting. No, mm -hmm. it, it cannot be like this, uh, you know, which we can easily say you can drink it. No. Right, right. I totally understand. I mean, I did the same thing or similar thing with uh with a line of health related edible bars where we started with CBD and then THC just became too much of a variable. So it was something, it was, it was a route we didn't necessarily want to go, but during that time got contacted by multiple different cannabis companies that wanted to have that product in their States. So it was just something I had to consider, which you guys are going to have to, you know, you're going to get contacted with companies that want to do that. In, in, in my academic life, yes, I have a THC. We use it for our research in the inhaler, and we use it. It has a tremendous effect, and that's the problem. It works very uh, profound and very significantly. CBD is the same, but the difference is that one basically has irreversible consequences. Uh, when I say irreversible, means you know you don't know what will happen, uh, yeah. but. Uh, we know the consequences, but we don't know the magnitude of it. Uh, so that, that, that makes it very difficult. Right, so. right. Well, this this was great. Like I said, we've got to get you guys on the deep dive, but we got to wrap this up. So if you're interested Absolutely. in connecting with Sammy and Dr. Babin Thank and you. Hydro One, please add them to your net network on CanTrade. You can also place orders and ask questions directly from the Hydro One wholesale menu, uh, post in the webinar chat and in the CanTrade feed and in the podcast and YouTube show notes. Thank you very much, Sammy and Dr. Bevan. Thank you Pleasure so much. Pleasure talking Mark. to you again. Thank and you. have a pleasant day. I know you're tired. Awesome. Um, you mentioned you mentioned you were uh, you mentioned you're 76. I was like, I don't know how this man has so much energy. Like you got you got the energy of a you know you're you got the energy of a young buck, a 20 year old. 67. You got it all wrong. That's okay. Oh, sorry. I, I, I'm. What's interesting too is I'm dyslexic, so I have 67. I have 67 written right here, but I'm dyslexic, so it's like I'm reading everything backwards all the time. That's why I'm always stumbling over my words. But that's why it's just. I so just cool. look 78, so I'm 67, but I just look 78. Ah, ah, well, well, either no, you don't. You don't even look that. But it's 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 got to have something to do with this and the and the athletics. Well, great talking to you. Thank and you. please give our best to your crew. They did a great job. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, guys. We'll talk again. Thanks. All right.